Good morning. Right now it's 2.07 a.m. in the morning. I went to sleep earlier. I woke up to the same thing on social media. The violence that's going on in this world. And being a black American, African American, I want to not only speak for me, but to, to speak for my brothers and sisters that doesn't have a voice. But when I speak to you, I'm not speaking to you. Just because I want to say, oh, this, this, this. Of course, black lives matter, but every life matters to me. And I just want to pray for everybody in this nation. I know that I created a post earlier this week about I'm praying for the world. But it takes more than a post on Facebook. So that I know that people listen now. And there's more to me just just then um, R&B, hip hop, gospel. And I'm happy that God has allowed me to create this platform. And this platform is colorless, genderless. I'm praying for everybody. And I'm praying for your heart. I'm praying that every day that you wake up, you begin to search your heart before you prejudge, before you just try to search someone else. I'm praying for you that every single day that you wake up, you have the opportunity to start the process of loving yourself and others, <clears throat> having compassion towards others by putting yourself in their shoes. I'm praying for this nation to come together and I believe it will one day. I'm so happy to see the people come together to do a peaceful protest. Even though you see some people doing crazy crimes, but I am happy to see the people that come together to protect one another. This is only the beginning to something major. And I love it. I want to pray for your heart to be transformed. I pray that every single day that you begin to take the callus off of your heart, whoever hurt you or harmed you or spoke negative in your life, that you begin to take it off of yourself. Day by day, that's how the process starts. Day by day, step by step. I'm praying for everybody to have strength. Today, tomorrow, next week, next year, in the years to come. I'm praying that you will not do things out of anger, out of hate. Not only fight with your words, fight with your knowledge, your understanding, but do it the right way. I 
I'm praying that God cleans your heart. He can clean your heart up every day. I'm praying for everybody. Not only the people that's out in these streets right now. I'm praying for the people that's inside of the churches. I'm praying for the leaders. I'm praying for the, as they say in church, the unclean souls, the clean souls. I'm praying for all of you, everybody. You are not excluded. I'm praying for each and every one of you. Because for me, I don't care about titles. Some people may think I'm disrespectful because I might say, hey, a girl, I'm just doing that to relate with you. Nothing out of disrespect. It's time to stand up for what you believe in and believe in what's right. If you believe in hurting people, harming people, doing crimes, cyberbullying, cyber war, then you really need to search your heart, search yourself, do a soul check. You really need to do a detox on your soul, on your heart. It's time to stop faking. It's time to stop going to church just to say you're going to church and getting the same results. It's time to stop all of that. It's time to stand up and protect yourself and one another. It's time. No one have to tell you that. It's time to be about it. I am a woman of my word, a woman of my actions. If I done something wrong, just tell me and I will be apologetic. But you have to give people a chance to apologize. Don't take a life out of anger. Out of built up hate. So I'm praying. For everyone to come together. To serve each other. I'm just happy that what I'm doing in this. This company. I'm just so grateful because it's funny because (laughs) it's so much stuff I want to teach on. It's so much I want to, to, to help on. It just, it's just like, I don't know where to start, but it starts here. It starts here. I'm praying for your heart, your soul, that God change you. Change me, oh God, make me more like you. Change me, oh God, wash me through and through, just create in me. A clean heart so that I may worship you. Change me, oh God, make me more like you. Change me, oh God, wash me through and through, just create in me a clean eye, so that I may worship you.
it's time to stop just sending unnecessary videos and be about your actions. It's time to stand up. Don't allow anyone to walk over you. Don't allow anyone to mistreat you. Because when you do that, it's just building. It's just building, building things on the inside that you don't want there. So I challenge you today to change your heart, to check your heart, to do a de- an analysis, a do a detox on your heart, on your soul. Check out how you treat others, how you treat yourself. And if you are treating someone bad right now, in 2020, then you need to take a moment and step back and change that about yourself. The thing about this is you don't need no special formula, special prayer, special anything to start doing something new. Just stop it and do it. So I challenge you to be each other keeper in a positive way. Protect each other. Serve each other. It's power in numbers. When you come together, it's power in numbers. Be blessed. I love you. I will love, always love you. Do the right thing. It's not about religious right now. It's about good or bad. You have a choice. Make that choice. I'm not pressuring you to do anything. Make a choice. I love you. Have a wonderful night, a wonderful morning, wherever you are. Do the right thing. This is Arshia, Spontaneous Queen. Be bold in who you are. SpontaneousQueen.com Peace out, y'all. Good morning. Right now it's 2.07 a.m. in the morning.